Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Parameter Estimation. And here we're going to derive the Fisher information for a Cosi distribution. Now, I really like this video for two reasons. One, this derivation is not straightforward, and that in itself is good to have in your mathematical tool bag. But the other reason is in two different uh, places in this video, we use what's called a reduction formula for, for integration. And we don't use a formula, we actually derive it. And so that also is good to have in your mathematical tool bag. <clears throat> now the Cauchy is part of a, a location scale family. And the standard or the base function is this. Notice that there's no parameters here. It's only the random variable and known constants. right? So then we can transform it. And here we're only going to use the location aspect of the location scale family. So we're going to put in a location parameter, let y equal this. Then it becomes this. So the, this, is, this is a Cauchy location uh, scale, or location uh, Cauchy distribution. So the log of the density is this. And so that piece is here. This is, is here. Notice the minus, because we took the log of this, and that's a division, and so it, it goes down here. Now, here we take the first derivative of the log likelihood, but remember it's only for a sample of size 1. So the log of this is constant and goes away. The log of this, you know, the minus comes out front, and then it's 1 over this, times the derivative of this, which is 2, you know, raised to the 1, and then the chain rule, that's a minus 1. Then this uh, simplifies to this aspect here. Now, the second derivative of this be, uh, becomes this. So the second derivative, or the derivative of the derivative, then it becomes, you know, the derivative of the top times the second, minus the derivative of the bottom times the, the you know, the top and then divided by this bottom squared. You know, there's a formula there and I think everybody knows it. Then this simplifies to this equation right here. Now the formula for the Fisher information, there's really three main formulas and this is one of them. It's the expected value of minus the second derivative of the log likelihood. And now what this means, expectation means we're going to do integration, or summation, but integration in this part because it's continuous. Now the minus is right here. We're integrating over all possible values of the Cauchy. Then we put the, uh, this value, which is here, right here. And then it's times the density of the Cauchy, right? Now we... You know, the, the bottom's going to be product, you know, multiplied together in the top. And we, we add a well-chosen zero so we can write it like this. If you were to multiply that in and then subtract four, you get this numerator back. But we write it like that so this denominator and this piece of the numerator have the same form. Now we do a variable change. We let y equal x minus mu. And then after that transformation, you get this. Now, technically, I should probably put y's right here, but it's a dummy variable, and so I just, I just recall it x. But these two integrals are the same. Now, here we split it into two integrals. So we take the minus 4 and that, right? So the minus and minus make it positive. And then we, and then we integrate this. So the minus 2 over pi... And then integrated and then one of those cancels with this now we're going to solve this in two you know or treat them separately we're going to call them integral one and integral two so we'll do integral one first which is this piece and we're not dealing with the constants we'll multiply those back in later now we want to use what's called a reduction technique and which is this and, and to me this is so cool and it's used for so many different integrals um, we take one of these so there's three we take one set it aside and then that's this two right here 
but that one set aside is technically this the derivative of arc tangent of x is 1 over 1 plus x squared dx so this piece is actually that extra one dx but when it's in this form we can use uh, substitution or integration by parts so we let u equal this piece and dv equal this piece so du is this and then the integral of this is this now we take uv and put it here and of course we're integrating from this range and then it's minus uh, vdu but the this minus and the minus make it a plus that 4 comes out x third arctangent okay now this right here uh, arctangent when it goes to infinity goes to pi over 2 and this goes to 0 so the whole thing goes to 0 at minus infinity this piece goes to minus pi over 2 and this goes to 0 so the whole thing goes to 0 so this goes away and we're left with this now we want to do a u substitution let u equal the arctangent of x that means x is the tangent of u and then du is is this piece right here now we substitute everything in so the four out front oh the limits of integration you know when it goes when it's infinity it's pi over two and when this goes to minus infinity it's negative pi over two so the x is tangent of u um, oh arctangent oh brain cramp there arctangent is u and then this x is tangent and then we put in you know tangent of u in for this x and we get this now what we do here is we change everything we change the tangents to sine over cosines and then it, you can get it to reduce to this now once we're here we're going to use integration by parts again let u equal x let dv equal this part over here the derivative of that is du dx and the uh, antiderivative of that is this and you can kind of see that this goes back to that because if you take the derivative of this the 4 cancels here the derivative you know then it's cosine cubed and then times the derivative which is negative sine and so you do get them back then we plug in uh, this is uv and, and we get this so it seems like this should be 1 over 4. And then um, when we plug in the limits of integration, pi over 2, you know, cosine of pi over 2 is 0, cosine of negative pi over 2 is 0, so this goes away. But that 4 is, you know, really not what we wanted there. So, oh, yeah, it is. So that 4 comes out, and that's the minus 4, another brain cramp. I'm looking through a little 2 inch screen. So then, uh, over here, it's minus, but then that minus makes it a plus, uh, duv. And so we get this. And so that 4 out front cancels with this. Now, to go from he here to here, so we want to use a reduction formula again. So this is cosine of the fourth, and then somehow we want to reduce it to cosine squared. And we do that, I give the 100% detail and steps for that formula in this video called useful trig integral in one of my integrals and then here we use the same useful trig integral to bring it to here and then we integrate this and we get 3 8 pi so that's the the value of integral one now integral two I'm gonna go a little quicker because it's a lot of the same techniques we use a reduction formula again which is this so we take one of these and that's what this derivative of arc tangent it is because you get 1 over 1 plus x squared dx and then this we use integration by parts let u this and dv this and then du and v are, are respectively this then this here is uh, uv integrated from these limits 
and this is minus, but that minus makes it a plus, uh, du uh, v, and we get this. Now, this is zero. Arctangent infinity goes to power over two, but this goes to zero. This goes to negative power over two, and you plug it in here, it goes to zero. So we're left with this. Now, we do a u substitution again, where u is equal to arctangent, x is tangent, and then du is this, dx. So we plug everything in, right? The This is u, that's tangent, and then we plug in a tangent of u here, and we get this. Now, we change all these to sine over cosines, and we, and we change, and we... Uh, reduce that and it becomes this. Okay, so technically it should still be u, but that's a dummy variable, and I switch it back to x. Um, so these are equal, and then we use integration by parts again. u is x, dv is this, du and v, right? So if you take the derivative of this, you get that back, and that's e easier to see. So here, this is uh, uv integrated at these limits, minus uh, DUV, which is this. Now this here ends up being a value. If you plug in pi over 2, we get 1. The 2's cancel and we're left with pi over 2. Here it's minus and then you plug in a minus pi over 2. This is 1. The 2's cancel, minus. You get a plus. So this is pi. And actually when you jump to the equal sign, that's what this is. Now this here, the sine squared, sine of x squared, we we use a reduction formula, which is um, how to do that is in this video here, useful trig integral. So we go from here to here, and then this integral is minus one half, and then this adds to one half pi. Now we take those pieces of information, so the one half pi is this part. Remember, this is part two of the integral, and this is the constant out front. What we did in integral one is here with the constants. You subtract that, you get this, which is one half. So the Fisher information of sample size one is one half from a Cauchy distribution. Now, the Fisher information from a sample size n means you take n times this, which is this, and that's the Fisher information from a sample size n for a Cauchy distribution. Well, that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.